Hello, in this video tutorial we will look at the Meteor system. First, let's consider its purpose. Meteor generates data to construct a generalized DCF from multiple tasks. The calculation of generalized DCF can be performed based on DCF or forces of each task included in the package. It is important that all the models of the problem are topologically identical, it is they have the same geometry, number and type of elements. At the same time models may have different boundary conditions, stiffness properties of the elements and subgrade parameters. We will consider other specific features of this system on the example of the problem. We have four variants of the problem with the same geometry, number and type of elements. All variants have three main load cases, two permanent and one short term. The second variant has four seismic load cases as well. Let's see what the difference between all four tasks is. The coefficient of subgrade reaction C1 in the first variant is equal to 1000 tons per cubic meter. In the second variant C1 is equal to 5000 tons per cubic meter. The third variant in the first span has C1 equal to 0 tons per cubic meter and in the second one 1000. The fourth variant is similar to the third one but moduli of subgrade reaction are contrary. It is important to understand when you specify a zero coefficient of subgrade reaction a small value of 100 is actually specified because there has to be resistance RZ of soil. In order to begin to work with Meteor system it is necessary to complete the analysis of each variant and close their files. Then we have to open the analysis tab and in the analysis panel open the Meteor dialog box. Now we have to attach the files of task variants. The first file that is attached is the main one and a generalized problem with the results of DCF file will be created on its basis. In our case the first file has index M, the second one has index M sub 2, the third and fourth ones have indexes M3 and M4 respectively. The files can be attached one by one or uh, all at once. For convenience let's select all the files together and add them to the table. When the variants are loaded it is necessary to select the type of analysis on the basis of which a generalized DCF will be formed. It is also necessary to select a building code. Our analysis is formed for the forces in accordance with SNP. Now we have to set the changes for load cases. In the drop down list load case type set for fourth, fifth and sixth sequential load cases the designation not active. This refers to first, second and third load case of the second problem. For first, eighth and 11th sequential load cases in the box group of mutual exclusions set the number of group 1. For second, 9th and 12th set number of group 2. For third, 10th and 13th set number of group 3. After that save the changes and perform the analysis. After the analysis of generalized DCF is performed a new file is generated with the name that has been assigned when saving the original table of Meteor system. All the functions related to editing the design model become inaccessible for this file. The only available function are those related to the specification of data for designing elements of the design model. At the analysis of the generalized problem on the basis of forces the results of calculations for load cases of all problems that are part of the generalized problem and results of the generalized DCF are available in the file generated in the result of the analysis. At the analysis of the generalized problem on the basis of DCF of each problem included in the package, the file generated in the result of the analysis contains only the result of generalized DCF. After the calculation, create the design option in which the analysis is performed according to DCF. Next, we have to create materials 
for the given design option and apply them to the geometry. Then perform the analysis of the reinforcement. Then we can analyze the results. That is all. Thank you for your attention.